Good day on YouTube, brothers and sisters, as I go with a uh, brief devotional this morning as I just got wrapped up my uh, live stream video on Facebook. Uh, as I was speaking about peace, I was uh, thinking of a couple of men from ancient times, one in the Bible. His name was Solomon. Solomon was a man who basically had a thousand women, had all the wisdom in the world, had all the possessions that anyone can want to acquire, and yet he found it all vanity, vanity or meaningless. There was another man, his name was Augustine. <clears throat> Augustine was born in 354 AD. He died in 430 AD. He was another man of God, but before he came to the Lord, he chased every woman in the world, every skirt, so to speak, all the passions and the lusts of this world he followed and wanted to acquire. But when he came to Christ, he had a saying that still is so true today. He said, Lord, I am restless until I find my rest in you. And now today I could speak also from my own experience, just like Solomon, just like Augustine, how often when I look back at my life when I was younger, growing up in a home, you know, there's no perfect home. We all have our war stories and so do I. There was not much peace at times in the home. So I tried to find my peace outside the home, the people, places, and things of this world. <clears throat> and now looking back, I can see it was all vanity, as Solomon said, and I, that I was just restless. And the only peace that I really needed to find was the peace that's found in God through Jesus Christ. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in John 14, 27 says, my peace I give to you my peace I leave to you, not as the world leaves. You see, the world, brothers and sisters, can lead us to a false sense of peace. As I said, Solomon, Augustine, and this man you're looking at on TV, on YouTube right now, Richard Joyce, we all searched for peace in the things of this world to only be let down. You see, the peace that Christ can give us is eternal because he's eternal. The people, places, and things in this world that we look after and try to acquire, it's only temporary. You can look back at your life, <coughs> excuse me, and see how often as a man or a woman you chase somebody of the opposite sex thinking that they were going to make you fulfilled and give you that peace that you need to only be heartbroken. How many times I grew up with guys in the streets in the Bronx and a lot of guys pursued drugs and alcohol to get high to only come off that high and still have their problems and more problems on top of that. Or trying to acquire a new house, the, in, the indoor pool, the in-ground pool, the brand new car, the jewelry. It all leaves us, brothers and sisters. It all fades away. You see, peace that God gives us, it lasts. Isaiah 26 verse 3 says that God will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are stayed steadfast upon him. Psalm 46 verse 10 says, be still and know that I am God. I grew up, a lot of people thought I had what was called OCD. I couldn't stay still, I was restless. I didn't know what it was like to read a book or stay still before God. A lot of times when I, would, when I was younger, I would go to sleep, I had to have the TV on because I had to hear noise. And a lot of times when we struggle with a lack of inner peace, these things happen to us. We try to acquire that peace from the things of this world that are only temporary, brothers and sisters. Proverbs chapter 20, Proverbs chapter 12, verse 20 says that if we pursue the peace that God has for us, we will find true joy. You see, we all wanna have joy in our hearts. We all wanna be happy and content. And it only comes when we seek after God in our lives. I will end with this. Adam and Eve, when they sinned, the first thing they did was blame each other, blame God, blame the devil. The next thing they did was they put fig leaves around themselves to cover themselves from God. And that's what we do, brothers and sisters. We create fig leaves, whether it's women, wine, song, the things of this world, the possessions, the jewelry, as I said, the car, you name it. You could put your, uh, uh, cross your T's and dot your I's in your own life as to what it is or who it was that you tried to pursue that would give you peace. What fig leaf did you put around yourself? What you were doing was you were trying to hide from God. But thank God we have victory now through Christ. And I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, as I'm getting older, I'm finding that the true peace that we need 
is the eternal peace with the God who created us for the sole purpose of worshiping him and him alone and not the people, places, and things of this world. Take care. May God bless you all this day.